Hello my dear friends, this is a Painty Cat, my name is Catherine. Today we're going to paint composition with watercolor. This is a cup of mulled wine with uh, some spices around and lemon with a branch of Christmas tree. So where to start? We're starting with a sketch and uh, also I want to let you know you can find this sketch ready to print on my Patreon. You can print it and transfer on a good watercolor paper. This is important because the result very depends on those quality. Don't please don't pick up too thin watercolor paper uh, and be accurate if you're creating sketch with me by yourself. It's important to not create lines you not gonna repeat with watercolor because um, even if we will remove uh, some lines we don't need, we will remove it later with the um, rubber, it still can be visible when you will start to paint with watercolor because of the scratches right if you're sure in your hands you can create sketch with me if you don't again please go on my patreon print sketch and transfer all lines you need as a shape starting shape i choose a cup it was quite a big cup uh, ikea one uh, it's a nice and uh, very guaranteed round circle and after I cut it from the top and I'm forming a cap. This is an interesting cap by the way I have it close to me real cap with a double sides it's a transparent and I think you know mulled wine or even a tea looking so beautiful in those Kind of cups. Next round shape, it's a cap of my bottle and it's gonna be a lemon. I'm drawing fast now because um, if you're really interesting to create sketch by yourself, you will definitely need more than 30 minutes. I want to demonstrate you how the process is going. But um, if you want to create it by yourself, you will need to spend, you know, more time. Sometimes uh, I'm also creating tone sketch where um, I can understand dark details and light details. You can follow my Instagram. There I'm sharing sometimes some of my uh, tone sketches, not just a line ones, uh, not just a color paintings that are already done, but also there you can find um, some uh, composition in progress with a toning. Also, um, I have some spices around here. Mm, what it's gonna be? Let's see. It's a cinnamon. It's gonna be um, cloves. I like it, you know, I even like it in a tea. Also, it's gonna be anise. It's just smelling so nice. And a berries or it's uh, calling a fruits, I believe, fruits of Dagrodus. It's also tasty. Um, this composition can be with um, mulled wine, but also if you don't want to paint alcoholic drinks, right? Uh, you can create a tea lemon tea calling also a russian tea very uh, well known and also very tasty with the spices 
like uh, with a cinnamon and uh, with uh, dog roses berries okay next step um, look I picked up another pencil which is softer than previous one previous one wa was HB and this one uh, is uh, double black 2B so all lines I'm sure in I'm lining again actually as for me I don't really need it but um, I think for video for you I want you to see very clear where I'm going to paint so I'm lining again So many details. Look, we have a cup, glass cup, can be tricky to uh, create for beginners as well, but we will um, follow step by step. I will demonstrate you each step you need to do. So in the end, you will get this cup. Uh, also, we have here lots of spices. We have a linen in cup, right? That have a different color than a, uh, than a lemon on a cap uh, and of course it's a um, Christmas tree tree and um, points we starting with the point uh, the let's say most interesting point here it's a cap and we gonna use technique where we adding colors in red areas but i'm so careful look i'm not making paper all wet around no now i'm just following those area where i'm gonna have a mold wine but i'm not working with just one color i pick up carmine but not just this shade on the left side i started with the carmine true but on a bottom line i also added scarlet red another important moment we're not gonna use latex reserve today for watercolor you can do it if you're not sure in your own hands but you know let's just why maybe you will like it we will reserve all lines we need to keep as a white and empty we will reserve it with a tip of brush look i'm evading those areas which i want to be white or another color later here it's a lemon piece I started with a cadmium lima and now I took another brush it's much smaller it's number one I'm blending carefully and you can see right edge of lima I left without combining with red area but a left edge I combined together with a wet watercolor that's how I got a um, vision like those slice of lemon floating deep inside of the red wine uh, next step I'm painting painting a lemon let's go a bit faster I'm just filling piece by piece those areas not combining together and we will let it dry again I'm evading areas and lines it's an edge of wine you can see it I left it without filling with a watercolor I didn't touch it 
And again, the next white and clear edge I left and the top of wine I painted mostly with um, scarlet red. Let's go on the right side and let's complete those wine we have in a cup. Here I'm gonna create a nice star. This is not a black, be careful. This is a mix of violet and a bit of umber burnt. Next, it's a reflection of red wine. Even if this cup has no color at all, it's completely transparent. But this is a glass, so we're gonna have some reflection. This is a first of it. And now I'm blending colors in this line. You can always control the tone of your watercolor with a dry and clear napkin in your hand. I have this napkin on my left hand and also, I don't know, I just, you know, I prefer toilet paper better. It's just getting water from the paper much, much better than just an ordinary paper napkin. Look! As soon as color going where I don't need to, I can just lift it up from my paper. It's really very easy. I always have a tube of toilet paper near to me, so each time I can use a fresh and clear new slice. That's it. You can use not just um, you know light yellow like a cadmium lemon or cadmium uh, yellow medium. Try to mix it. Try to find uh, those combinations you will like better. For example, some ochre yellow or uh, ochre golden can do. Right? You can add it just a little bit on the lemon as well. At this step. We have to wait till our cap and lemons will dry completely, but uh, we're not gonna waste a time, right? We're just at start of painting. So let's create also a first layer for Christmas tree here. It's just a small tweak. And I'm just creating those green, uh, green lines one by one, one by one, that's it. And again, look, I left empty lines there where I have a tweak of Christmas tree transferring and visible behind those glass caps. Also, let's plan some points here about color it depends what you have but try to evade a really brown colors let's go for golden more try to combine ochre yellow and umber burnt it will give you golden looking color and i'm touching those area with napkin because i really want to create mm, soft and light layer first again we're just planning colors we will do all details later we have to wait again those pines have to be dry for next detailing process and this time we can create first layer for cinnamon same color Same color as uh, for pines, and here you have to leave 
rope area empty again. Of course, you have to use a really nice watercolor brush. I mean, what's, what does it mean, nice watercolor brush? It means brush big enough to handle a lot of water with the color inside, right? But also very important, it's a um, pointy tip on a brush. If it's pointy enough, you can control all your lines very well. Next, this is a starting first level, planning level for another kind of spice. It's anise stars. It's just brush strokes by brush strokes. And also, with underbird, I plant some of cloves. Let's move on. And the next one, it's a dog rose uh, fruits. Color for them, it's just a scarlet red. I'm reserving those spots that's gonna be a uh, light spots with tip of brush and creating details that seen through the cap. Again, I evaded lines of cap, those edges of cap. We gonna keep them absolutely white. If you're not sure in your hand, you have to reserve edges of cap with a latex. Uh, personally, I don't like to use latex. Um, actually, because we have to, with the latex, we have to wait a lot of time and we have to be sure it's dry completely in the end, because if you will try to remove latex from the wet um, or half wet paper, you can throw the piece of paper um, easily. And you know, why not to learn the technique where you're reserving areas with a tip of um, watercolor brush. Now, while those areas of dog fruits, dog roses fruits, still wet, I added here a little bit of carmine here and there. Mostly it's a twigs of dog roses fruits, but also you can touch the bottom of berry or the um, top of berry. It will give more volume. And uh, I don't like idea to use a flat shade. Flat shade mean um, where you're using just a single color and you're working with just um, the tone of this color. Somewhere, for example, a uh, scarlet red, you can um, paint with very watery and scarlet will look as a pink uh, and some way you can color with um dark tone uh, dark scarlet red this that's mean flat color you can really find many beautiful combinations if you will um add another color that close to your working color. For example, this is a scarlet red, can be carmine, can be mother like red. Uh, about the process next, we already have yellow, we put it as a first layer and we adding now carmine, we covering with a very light and thin layer, with a really buttery layer, because we have to create the feeling, the visual, like um, part of lemon already uh, fill up with a wine. And look, I'm creating very thin lines and imagine it's just a vine in the middle of a lemon slice, just inside. So some of very uh, some of areas keep as a yellow 
and a veins of lemon create with a carmine but be careful carmine need to be very watery transparent together with a yellow it will give us a really really nice color don't paint this area completely don't cover completely with the carmine please leave those yellows that's it it's very easy to control watercolor here right now because paper here dried completely and look we have two different lemons right where it's inside where this slice inside of the vine it's red colored and above a vine line we have still just a clear yellow lemon it's just looking like we just put it inside if you don't like idea alcoholic drinks to create you always can change it you can create just a tea cup this way you have to paint with more brownish colors it's just up to you i really like uh mood wine or it can be a juice just a, a red grape juice also very nice tasting with the spices and uh, where it's uh, when it's um, hot a little bit in a winter time especially we also have to detail veins of lemon above the vine line but now i picked up a different shade look it's half more of her yellow can be a golden as well depends what colors you have on um, your watercolor box even if my brush now quite big it have a nice quality so tip a very pointy and this brush giving me ability to create very nice and thin details and lines If you're feeling like you can't handle it, you always can go for smaller sized brush. Okay, let's complete another lemon here. All we have to do is cover the whole lemon area with very watery cadmium lemon. It's a layering with watercolor means we have layers and layers. But you have to remember, please dry previous layer and only after go for the next one. This way layers will be not mixing together too much and you will get a very nice result. Some details will look very crispy, will have a very sharp lines and some details will look softer. This painting, I'd say it's easy enough, but because of a lots of detailings and layering, it can take a quite a lot of time. So prepare for really long work. Nice uh, about this tutorial, you're able to stop at any moment. Today we're not working wet on wet, right? So no big areas of work, at uh, one moment now we're detailing um, step by step piece by piece so you can just take a break at any time you can get you know a nice cup of coffee coffee or maybe um, some walking around and when you have time again you can return to this work and continue and complete next it's a layering for christmas tree shade basically the same so it's a green color it can have a tiny um, 
amount of uh, umber burn inside because we have to create a uh, warm tone of green and we creating next layer with more detailing by base but basically it's just the same it's just the stripes i'm going one by one from the tweak to outside and for the another one it's very easy so about this step I'm not gonna talk much some needles can cross each other Nothing wrong with it. Lines to the Christmas tree. Also, I added a little bit of umber burn dots on a Christmas tree tweak, just for more volume and uh, detailing. Nothing tricky with it actually, but you have to be accurate, that's true. Again, if you are feeling like you can't handle detailing with this big brush as I have now, go for smaller size 
That's it. Smaller brush, easier to paint. I mean, easier to handle those tiny details. But small brushes, watercolor brushes, Bristol, they're so small, uh, it can't handle lots of watercolor and water inside. So you will need to go to your uh, faster, more times than I do. But again, nothing wrong with that. With experience, you will be able to paint with a really big brushes and you will switch um, not so many times as from the start. Next, I'm gonna create a curls of cinnamon. I'm going with a darker color inside of the curl and I'm leaving a curl line kind of thick and empty. I mean, I'm not filling it now with a new shade. Now you can see the curl, right? Let's go for another one. And for another one. Shade can be darker or lighter. Basically, it's same mix that for pine, it's a umber burn. And again, always try to find what shades mixes colors you like more. Maybe you like more warm tone. Uh, you can always add there a bit of uh, cadmium orange, for example, uh, or you can um, use colder tone, go more for sepia then. Another curl. All lines visible again, so you need to fill areas, that's it. With the darker colors on wet and wet technique, I'm creating some areas as a deeper toning for volume. And again, I told you about combination. Uh, what color always looking more interesting if you combine two colors that near to each other, for example, umber burn plus sepia. Color will look not so flat. And next step, we're gonna detail um, cinnamon. We're adding volume and I'm blending color with a dry and clear brush. With a small brush I can add a color, with a bigger brush I can blend color, because some lines here I have to keep as sharp and some lines I'm blending, because it's a, just a shadow of a um, piece of cinnamon. detailing one by one yeah lots of details adding color and blending adding and blending I really hope uh, before this tutorial you already follow some of my starting tutorials uh, about watercolors. Uh, I have some on my channel and it's free, it's open, you can uh, see it. And um, if you're preparing yourself for really detailing uh, compositions, uh, better to start from uh, easy ones. You can try those maybe there we talking about very starting uh, level and there it's just a single just a single uh, flower and also I can recommend to you um, Animani tutorial because there are we talking about background and um, a flower in the center here we also We'll create a background, 
but we will do it after we complete all pieces here. Now I'm very accurate. I want to evade the roof area. Because I will keep it as a light colored roof. So with a darker tone, imagine I'm painting around a rope and a center of a rope, steel, light, and just a white, white. We have no color lighter than white here. This, this is a cast shadow from the rope to the cinnamon and blending a little bit. When we already have our first layer done and we had it on the cinnamon, next layers will look not so patchy, let's say. Um, next layers will have no sharp edges between the previous ones if you will blend a little bit, just a little bit. When you painting with just a one layer everywhere, watercolor can look patchy. So that's why actually I like, I prefer to plan the composition first with um, colors. I'm putting it everywhere, right? We plant uh, Christmas tree, cinnamon, um, lemons, right? Everywhere we had a first layer, planning layer of color. And all layers on top of them will look not that patchy if you blend a little bit just a little bit with the tip of brush next it's a bottom of cap and it's visible for us because it's a transparent glass cap here i'm painting ovals but thin lines between ovals i'm keeping without any color and yes you have to be accurate here What I love about uh, watercolor, watercoloring, it's so relaxing because sometimes even you can handle your breath a little bit to evade those lines and details you want to keep as a light. So it's just not possible to create when you on a rush, when you have some other thoughts not about a watercolor right now but about something else also i like to uh, you know sometimes watch uh, movies i'm planned uh, for a long time i plan to, to watch but um nice <laughs> and interesting uh, about it mostly i can hear what's going on but i can't really watch it so um nah, well I have not enough time to paint and uh, watch uh, movies, right? One or another. It's everything taking time. Next layer, it was a detailing for anise stars. What was quite easy. I was just a painting on edges with the thick lines and I kept their uh, center as empty. And now I continue area inside of cup here we uh, have to create a reflection of lemon this is an interesting kind of caps mm, i just hope you saw it it's like a one layer of glass inside of another uh, and um, glass can reflect everything that you have inside of your cup so yes we have to create reflections and reflections here can be a red like scarlet red or combined same colors as uh, you created the liquid inside 
of the tea or uh, wine as I did and also it's pieces of a lemon. Again, please keep those lines between a different parts of cup empty. Don't touch it with a color at all. So even if a um, glass cup um, have no color, right? It's just absolutely transparent. We can't paint it with no color. We have to watch, we have to see, try to analyze what colors your eye can get there. And if you will see the um, glass objects in real life, you will see it's all colors around, reflecting in the glass. Uh, I told you we're gonna have a background here on Anemone tutorial. I demonstrated how to create background first and flower after. Here we created details first, objects first and background after. Important moment, you have to be sure all parts where you're going close with your background, all parts are dry. You can use hair dryer, nothing wrong with it. You know, just to create, to make a drying process faster. And color, yeah. Color here, it's a mix of natural black and a sepia. First, I'm just filling paper with a color, evading all details and very accurate, not going too close. But again, it's kind of safe now because um, everything I painted before already dried. I'm just filling quite fast. We have to create background here because other way that will be not possible to create to complete transparent glass. We can show white areas only through background, only through colors around white. White on white not visible at all. So to create a white you have to put a two watercolor all areas around the darker colors background still wet a little bit and i'm starting to detail fast shadows color the same but consistency not so watery i'm gonna blend now and I already told you, if you're blending on a previous layer, on a starting layer, it's possible to create darker tone without patchy effect, without those spots with the sharper edges. And the blending a little bit. Here I want to just fill up some white areas, don't want to leave it empty. It will look strange, you know, something white under the uh, Christmas tree twig. And also here I have to create a false shadow and see, as soon as I added this color, you can see white edge of cup better. And blending with the tip of my big brush. 
same process here going kind of close to the stars of anise blending again and here another part of shadow going close to cut but reserving white line not covering white line at all and a shadow under the dog rose root blending and un under another one blending blending again under the piece of cloth and here blending and here blending next step we gonna add darker color on a honey stars and on clove pieces it's just umber burnt but not so watery so it's looking darker all composition all painting looking very light very light so no any really dark color you know with a full power of watercolor you can go here with a really juicy and dark only with um, scarlet red and carmine and maybe with a yellow because it's light by itself it's a light uh, color but all others like a green brown um, ochre sepia natural black try to go with a really really light watery this way uh, your final result will look really lightweight I'm doubling layer of cast shadows for more volume you can see now cup a really staying on a table And now we have to fill in a part of cap with a color of background because we can see this color through the cap we can't leave it as just a white also I will go with a dark carmine following edge of liquid in my cap and blending a little bit just a little bit that's it let me add maybe here a red detail imagine like some wine are started to go up on a slice of lemon there and we have to complete background behind a cap for table I choose here um, sepia plus natural black but for background behind a cap of a lemon it's just ochre golden or yellow kind of warm and very light really light I just want to give some kind of color but not too much, not too much, very gentle, very light. 
so watery. I'm blending edge between table and a background behind a cap. I just don't need it there, you know, just don't need it. Behind a cap, I have to be accurate and here we can create a bit darker tone of offer. Darker tone making the edge of a cup white edge making more visible for us and a blending around a berries oh it's a fruit it's looking you know as a red berries for me <laughs> so that's why I'm, you know, I'm always mistaking berries and fruits and that's it my dear friends if you still have any questions you can ask me here on the comments also follow my patreon there you can find sketches for all my tutorials and some real-time extra tutorials for you as about this background after your painting dried completely with a rubber please clear all uh, sketch lines that's still visible and staying there and on this moment your painting done I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, even if it's really long and uh, can look quite tricky to complete. Trust me, it's a lot of fun and it's uh, also possible to create if you're only just a beginner on your own art journey. It was a painting cat and I wish you all the best. Bye bye!